Welcome everybody on this video, my name is Eric from Crocspool and today I'm with Nathan who is behind the camera and we are going to talk about our new coin joining the pool, Ravencoin. In the fictional world of Westeros, Ravens are used as messengers who carry statements of truth. Ravencoin is a use case focused blockchain designed to carry statements of truth about who owns what assets. As you may know, Ravencoin has been built on a fork of Bitcoin code, and it has a pretty unique way of linking blockchain to physical assets. In fact, this cryptocurrency has been designed for one specific purpose, to transfer assets from one party to another. But how exactly does it link physical assets to information present on the blockchain? And on the blockchain, what is an asset? On the Ravencoin blockchain, an asset is a token that can be issued by any user of the Raven protocol. The native emitter can decide its purpose, its rules, and what it represents. And these tokens can be transferred to any Ravencoin address. But now, what are the uses for these assets? Well, here is what's cool with Ravencoin. Assets can represent a very wide variety of items, going from gold bars, land deeds, shares of projects or companies, to tickets to an event or even gift cards. And because it is based on the Bitcoin code, Ravencoin ensures optimal levels of control, security and privacy. But what's more, Ravencoin also allows you to control the issuance of a token. For example, the emitter can select the unique name of the token, its quantity, and also the number of decimal places. And also, if the token will be able to see more iterations of itself in the future or not. But let's illustrate this example with a concrete example from the Ravencoin white paper. Meet Lila. She is a young child who wants to create a lemonade business. In order to do so, she uses the Ravencoin blockchain to create a token that represents a lemonade stand business. Yo, uh, Lila is a very clever child. Let's say she creates 10,000 lemonade tokens to raise funds for her business, with each token being worth one cent. People who believe in her upcoming success can buy these tokens and therefore raise $100 for the small company to start up. Because Lila is an exceptional child with outstanding entrepreneurial abilities, her lemonade stand starts doing really well and she wants to reward and thanks the ones who believed in her project. Thanks to the Raven protocol, she can send profits to every token owner in one simple command. On their side, the token owners might have changed from the original ones and Lila might even send rewards to people she has never met before. But that's not it. Ravencoin also allows for multiple other unique and critical features. Among all of them are unique tokens that can represent single precious objects. For example, uh, we could use the Raven protocol to create a single Art Mona Lisa token that is linked to the real painting. And we could do the same for software license keys or in-game items in a video game. You get it right. Applications of Ravencoin are multiple diverse and they expand so much the capabilities of the blockchain by linking virtual assets and physical assets. And good news is that now Ravencoin will be available on Cruxpool to mine. So don't forget to subscribe, like and tell us about what you think about this video and Ravencoin and we'll be happy to welcome you on Cruxpool. Take care guys! <laughs>